I've stayed with my wife for 12 years. And one thing I can say and thank God about is the gift of uh, my wife. I got a very good woman. I was a very lucky man. A woman who is so loving, beautiful at heart, also beautiful physically, uh, very religious, a saved woman. When I, whenever I used to drink long ago, she used to pray for me. So mimi ni kokuabaye na ni ombea. But God answered our prayers and I stopped alcohol. But the secret to a happy marriage is very simple. Number one, you must be compatible. You must communicate. In a relationship, you must communicate. Then rise above petty issues. Very important, put God first. I pray with my wife daily in the morning and in the evening before we sleep, we kneel down, we pray, because we, we make God be the leader of that family, be the leader of that house. And date. Like the first day you met your boyfriend or your girlfriend, date that person. Treat that person the same way. You don't need to go to expensive hotels. You can go anywhere in any kibanda. You can travel anywhere. Discuss issues affecting your lives. Discuss short-term goals in your family. Middle-term goals, medium-term goals, and then long-term goals in that family. Be guided by goals and vision in a family and love in that family. So you date. Take your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend for a movie. Travel. Go do breakfast somewhere, lunch somewhere, dinner somewhere. It doesn't need to be expensive. But that element of time is very, very important. Then rise above uh, petty issues. Whenever you see yourself uh, having, uh, having uh, you want to exchange, just avoid it. Be the bigger person. One partner must be the bigger person to rise above it. And then very important also, you must really make love as frequent as possible so that you avoid temptations outside there for both the partners. So, so marriage is very easy. People always say, you know, they're in hell when they are married. But the first day they were meeting, they were so much in love. Then you wonder why these people changed along the way. Number one, if you want to change your husband, change yourself as a wife. If you want to change your wife, change yourself as the husband. Okay? The moment, for example, you drink as a man, you come home late. If you started by coming home at 5 a.m., and then you come back and your wife welcomes you, gives you food. Meanwhile, you have to take into account that you are inconveniencing her because she should be sleeping. Or if she's woken up, she should be preparing children to go to school. But by the time she welcomes you, softly, smoothly, in a loving way, then believe you me, this man will start coming back at 3 a.m. From 3 to 2. From 2 to eventually 11. From 11, at 6 p.m. You appreciate your wife. Appreciate your wife. Appreciate how beautiful she is, how she's dressed. It's very, very important. So that Adam Mutua Kimpata Uku Inja Kimombia, you are beautiful. Already these are things that Anasia Kwaku. You see? Kama unapata kitu pia, because men are meant to work. Ukipata kitu, weka kitu something for your wife for every month. At least, ataenda salon, kama kona gari ataweka fuel, kama kona friends ata entertain those friends of hers. At least she has something, and as a nunua airtime, because a man is supposed to provide. So as a man, at least every month, wekea bibi yako kitu. Tunaelewana hapo vizuri? But you see, it's not a must, only if you have. But it is very important. Such things, akuna mtu mwenye naeza shutua bibi yako na mambo ya pesa, mambo ya mapenzi, mambo ya kumdate, mambo ya kumake love na e. Because anazi experience all those things. So I think when, uh, when, when you do that, then you will have the best marriage ever. But the most important thing, if you want to change the other person, change yourself. Change yourself. For a man, appreciate your wife. 
akipika appreciate eat that food akitoka kwa nyumba appreciate appreciate her beauty her dress code how she is but again you must correct each other in marriage but not embarrassing each other whenever something is wrong sit down discuss it talk about it communicate very important in a day let no day pass without asking how your wife is how your husband is because they spend most of the time with other people for example myself nikiwa parliament the whole day na spend with other people narudi at home in the evening so I'll, uh, uh, in the course of the day you need to be communicating ask your spouse how your day is moving on those are small things that are very important in marriage so i think for marriage there is no miracle you just have to play by the rules and the rules are just very simple